So I just wanted to quickly show you guys something. Almost 70% of the people that consistently watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Please make sure you guys go down and check to see if you are subscribed to me. Hit that notification bell. Let's see if we can bump that up to like 50, 60% of the people. Help me reach my goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers. So we have the Vargo 52, but this time I wanted to take a movement approach and let me specify first. The movement approach I'm talking about here isn't like a movement build, but by default, the Vargo actually has a below average like strafe and movement speed, which in turn makes it less ideal for like, oh my God. It makes it less ideal for close range engagements to keep that in simple terms, but with the fast fire rate, it's a very good close range option. So, because it's a good close range option, where's my mini map? Hold the phone. Why do I not have a mini map? Wait, I knew I wasn't bugging. I knew I wasn't bugging. Is it gonna load? I have no mini map. Hello? What kind of bug is this shit? Hello? What? I'm not playing hardcore. Um, we're gonna see what happens if I get a harp. I saw them, obviously. Now I'm off topic. Be because I don't have a freaking mini map. What am I supposed to do? I can hear the like UAV pings. Like it's there. But this is good. This is a first. This is a first for me, I'm gonna be honest. Because I don't know how to react. Homie's using attack nine. Again, like I think somebody's already called the UAV. So am I just not gonna have a mini map? I'm confused. Has anybody ever had this happen? I need some honest answers here. That makes things so much harder. Boom. No, tragic. That was a feed, man. All right. I am at 18. All right. Well, streaks are definitely locking me in some kills there. I'm going to watch this way. That's attack nine. I have a mini map now. Sure. That's odd. Alright, one more in this room. I choked it. Bottled it. Didn't bottle that. Hold on. Cruise missile right now. This could be it. This could this could really like lock us in. Ah, I don't see anybody. That's tough. Pardon me with the coughing, I'm still quite sick. I'm trying my best to battle through this. I should, I really should get 50 here. Especially if I'm shooting like this. I mean, keep in mind, I did this without a mini map.
If you guys are going to line up for me, I'll take it. That's for sure. I will take it. That's 50 kills. Wait, this game is... Dude, four... My recording's been on for four minutes. Four minutes. They're all still there. All right, wait. Oh, he's just done. Tag nine users just done. All right, 58 and four. What the heck was that? I might jump into like a quick nuke town or something because I mean, that was like a four to five minute game. So I'm not going to lie to you. I totally planned on recording a second gameplay for this, but I'm recording when I just got out of work right now, which means, you know, I'm on a, a limited time frame here and I kind of ran out of time. I'm not going to lie to you. So no second gameplay, unfortunately, but I did think I featured this thing extremely well as far as aggressive fights go and medium range fights, which is exactly what I was targeting here. You got to see the movement speeds increase and whatnot. Uh, if you guys want to see another video on this with more gameplay with this particular build, make sure you guys just go down to the comment section. Let me know. And I'll do the next time I make a Vargo build. I'll use this exact one so you guys can see what it's more capable of. Let's get into these attachments. So we got the muzzle break five, four, five. I simply wanted to use this one because we have no cons to running it, but there are plenty of attachments here. For example, the gruesome Presser is a good one. So is the Spetsnaz Compensator. It really depends on how good you are at controlling recoil. Uh, for a barrel here, I am speeding up the mobility with the 12.5 inch ultralight. Uh, primary attachment here in regards to speeding up the stray speeds to make it a little faster. It's going to be a 10% increase there to your aim walking speed or stray speeds overall. Now we have a magazine, 40 round mag. You're going to gain some extra bullets here without... Sacrificing any aim down sight speed. That's important. You don't want to sacrifice any aim down sight speed on a build like this with how aggressive you plan on playing. But at the same time, it does have a very fast fire rate. So the extra bullets are 100% necessary. The handle is going to be the Gru Elastic Grab. You're going to maximize the aim down sight speed. This attachment at 30%. On top of that, you are getting some flinch resistance and the ability to drop shot as always. And our last attachment is going to be the KGB Skeletal Stock. So you're going to get sprint to fire speed and even more aim walking speed, 40% increase to the aim walking speed, 30% increase to the sprint to fire. Another attachment to really help you with that aggression there. So here's going to be all those attachments on the screen. Make sure you guys copy those down if you guys want to. And again, if you guys want to see another video with this class setup because of how short this one was, just go down in the comment section and let me know. Make sure you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button for me. Seriously, it just helps push the videos out to people who are still playing Cold War or maybe people that just got the game or something. Just that little bit of support. That's all I ask. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.